A big morning in Terre Haute as local leaders celebrated the completion of the first of 16 homes as part of a ready grant. Zach Stidham spoke with Terre Haute Mayor Brandon Sackbutt and Thrive CEO Ryan Keller about their goals for housing in the area. Zach. Just one of many housing projects in Terre Haute that they hope will increase the population by the next census. The cutting of this ribbon signifies the start of a new chapter in Terre Haute. The $5 million project will bring 16 housing units to the city. Mayor Brandon Sackbun says the plan will flip the city's population trend. This is one of our new build projects. You're going to see 16 homes over the next 18 months that we're really looking forward to. And then you'll see even later today another project, Habitat from Humanity. So we are building homes at all price ranges and adding to the market to help reverse our population trends. City leaders are working to convince more people to live in Terre Haute. A house brings a family, a family brings, you know, not just tax dollars, but someone who's living in the community, enjoying our city parks, going to our school corporation, and that's what we need as a community to grow because the last couple of censuses, we have seen that population decline. Now, we're hoping to see it go up in 2030. These projects were made possible due to the Indiana Ready Grants given to Vigo County and Thrive's Homes for the Future program. Thrive is a nonprofit community action organization that works to improve the people's lives in the Wabash Valley. Thrive CEO Ryan Keller discusses what affordable housing can open up for residents. It still allows them really another two-thirds of their income to go for other basic needs like saving for college, uh, you know, for food, um, other types of expenses and with that. Um, so it allows them to continue to achieve the American dream. That dream is what Mayor Sackbun wants to bring to the city of Terre Haute. It shouldn't matter if you've got a GED or a PhD, but you should have a chance for a livable wage and to own a quality home in the city of Terre Haute and Vigo County at large. Yeah, Thrive officials say they are easily going to achieve their 2024 housing goal for Vigo County. That means 600 new housing units. Back to you, Mike. All right, all good news there. Thanks a lot, Zach.